All right, folks, it looks like we have a new production car world speed record. On October 10th, on a stretch of closed off, freshly paved highway in the Nevada desert, British racing driver Oliver Webb catapulted a new SSC Tatara hypercar to a staggering speed of 331 miles per hour. That set a variety of records, including fastest production vehicle on a public road, and with two runs averaged out to uh, 316.11 miles per hour, the overall fastest production vehicle record, verified by satellite data and uh, Guinness records. This handily beat both the current official record of 277.9 miles per hour, which was set back in 2017 by Koenigsegg Ajera RS, and an unofficial Bugatti Chiron record of 304 miles per hour. That one's unofficial because Bugatti only did it in one direction due to racetrack conditions at the time. For the SSC run, satellite GPS receivers verified the speeds in both directions and calculated the record setting average. Now, I spoke with Webb, the driver, SSC founder Jared Shelby, vehicle designer Jason Castriata, and engine maker Tom Nelson uh, for a story. And you can see my full report of the event in my article at Wired.com right now. The gist of it is that this has been a record 10 years in the making with every nuance of aerodynamic efficiency and power delivery painstakingly explored for this new car. The 1,750 horsepower twin turbo V8 features such things as a knife edge crankshaft to slice cleanly and quickly through oil and a $30,000 ECU to optimize the engine management. The Michelin tires were spun at speeds uh, simulating the vehicle's weight and stresses to ensure that they could do it safely. Uh, aerodynamically, the car is optimized for downforce, cooling airflow into the engines and brakes, and a slippery coefficient of drag of just 0 0.279, which is a record for this uh, class of vehicle. At maximum speed, it will generate about 800 pounds of downforce. Prior to the record attempts, the seven-mile stretch of Nevada Highway was inspected and wind conditions were closely monitored. Webb told me that the uh, gusts on both runs caused him to nearly abort the drives, but he pushed through despite the hair-raising turbulence. He described it as, and this is a quote, my vision stayed far in the distance and the dotted white line became solid, which was the weirdest thing. When I finally decided to lift off and back down to a safe speed, I looked down and I was still doing 280 miles per hour. Unquote. And 280 is, of course, still above the official world record at the time. Now, this resulting record is likely to stand for quite a while, but not forever. The fact that Webb's first run was, quote, only, unquote, 300 miles per hour against the car's obvious top end uh, brought the final average down to a relatively attainable 316. So any car that can do 320 can do this. Um, the Koenigsegg Jesco and a new car from Hennessy are well within range of that. On the other hand, SSC would only need to stage the attempt again on a calmer wind day to bump up their own average. Uh, of course, getting such a day is no guarantee, nor can any driver in the world necessarily do it. Webb made a conscious professional decision to end the run when he knew uh, weather was a factor, the winds were a factor. And engineers at SSC say that he could have gone another full 20 miles per hour faster. So this isn't over, not by a long shot. Um, this car and its competitors have in the space of just three years or so upped our top end from an era in the 2000s when the Bugatti Veyron's 252 mile per hour top speed was considered otherworldly. Now, of course, we'll soon have 100 of these Tataras on the road. That's the limit of the production run, 100 cars, meaning there'll be 100 vehicles on public roads that are technically capable of 350 miles per hour, and with a few tweaks, probably even 400. Now, that's amazing to contemplate, but I sure hope no Tatara owner attempts to break the record on their own because a puff of wind at the wrong time with the wrong guy at the wheel could spell disaster. So let's see where this takes us over the next few years and if we have this uh, astounding record beaten. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.